AMD's new U class of chips. Oh. Okay. I know that on WAN show, it's not necessarily the best place to get your news about an upcoming CPU or or GPU because we can't, you know, put up all the graphs and, and all that kind of stuff that is that is really helpful for understanding just how good this product is. But you don't need that. What you need is hype, 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 because these things are amazing. AMD has released specs and performance data for its new Zen 4 Ryzen 7040U Phoenix series processors. They're designed for thin and light laptops. So these are like 15 to 30 watt CPUs, like the Framework Laptop 13. I'm so excited! Not just as an investor, I just want one in my laptop. <laughs> They're based on Zen 4, okay? So latest CPU architecture with RDNA 3 based Radeon 700 M GPUs. And Team Red says these chips should be able to go head to head with Apple's M2 processors with the flagship 7840U supposedly performing 75% better than the M2 in Passmark 10. You notice Apple's whole Apple Silicon thing like started out like, really strong and in typical apple mac fashion has kind of got oh good enough just deflated we'll just leave it where it is like remember when they launched the mac pro and they were like yeah we're back with upgradability and it's going to be different this time and never they mind. launched the mac pro and then never updated it again <laughs> why do they just why are they so apathetic toward their mac users i don't know it's Kind of shocking. Yep. Uh, anywho, AMD also claims victory over Intel's competing 13th gen chip, the Core i7-1360P, by 30 to 228% on various tests. If you look closely, and this is really cool, uh, this chart is from uh, Anontech. Credit Anontech for this chart. This is amazing. If you look closely, uh, hold on. <laughs> Okay, I can't. Uh, Dan, can you move uh, us, please? Yeah, thank one you. Sec, one sec. The Ryzen 7 7840U bears a lot of resemblance to the Ryzen Z1 Extreme. They both have eight core, sixteen threads. Uh, really, that's how you do. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, Twelve CUs in their iGPU, uh, sixteen megs of level three cache, and a maximum 30 watt TDP. How interesting. Oh, I did that just in time. Yeah, it's fine. Gosh. Uh, the Ryzen Z1 Extreme is going to be powering the ROG Ally when it launches next week. Uh, these chips are AMD's first to launch with Ryzen AI, which is powered by its XDNA AI architecture, courtesy of the company's acquisition of Xilinx last year. Ryzen AI will apparently power upcoming features in Windows 11, like the Studio Effects Pack that can be only used with dedicated AI hardware. It's possible people will be able to hack around it, but it will almost certainly uh, result in additional power consumption, which on a mobile device would not be desirable. So just because you can work around it doesn't necessarily mean that you should. Speaking of Windows being optimized for certain chips, this is great, Windows 12 might end up optimized for custom Microsoft Silicon ARM-based SOCs if multiple new job listings for chip designers are any indication. Would you buy Microsoft Silicon? <laughs> well, don't look too enthusiastic. I find with a lot of Microsoft hardware products, there's a bunch of really cool stuff, and then there's some like glaring drawback problems yeah and then there's not necessarily like <sighs> it's not like apple's perfect you know i think the fact that they rug pull 3d touch which was the coolest feature ever um sucks you know yeah um but in general if you upgrade from an iphone to an iphone from a mac to a mac you can expect some degree of continuity and that was definitely intentional Whereas on the Windows side and even within Microsoft's own Surface products, I don't feel like that same thing exists. They don't have the same level of commit. And whether that's an unwillingness to continue to invest in things that were not immediate Ws or whether that's just 
maybe not thinking ahead enough as to like what that about the viability of a product like microsoft has some like serious wins in the hardware space but you know soft's in the name they've always felt like a software company like uh do they do they still can can you still do they still have that aio that you can like stick the surface dial to the screen or whatever oh yeah the surface dial is apparently still a thing with 363 reviews on the microsoft store on surface i can't even remember what some of their pcs were called surf surface st- surface studio or studio people are saying studio is that the one okay can you still buy a surface studio i remember even when it launched it had last gen hardware in it yeah have th- have they updated this bloody thing okay here let's have a look at it am i am i just ignorant it's still like nine thousand dollars. I want Wait, this just is a laptop. the screen. No, this is a laptop. Okay, now hold on, just a gosh darn minute. Computers, uh, Surf- two and ones, Studio. all of them. Surface Studio Two Plus. Okay, did I, did I just miss something here? Is this is this current? Yep. Starting from six thousand Canadian dollars. Where's my tech spec set? Uh, okay, so that's still a twenty-eight inch display, which is like fine. Eleventh gen processor. No. This has not been updated. So this is just, can Whoa. I can I order this thing? 11th gen processor, 32 gigs of RAM, and a one terabyte SSD for six grand. Non-user serviceable. This I've, re- is, I've repaired one, they're brutal. This is just languishing. And it was, you know, some parts of it were, were cutting edge, so Thunderbolt 4 is hey, still relevant. it's got Windows 11. Uh, relevant. Let's go. Is this real? I can actually order this outdated computer? Wow, I'm sure glad I customized this. I can choose English keyboard or terrible keyboard. <laughs> Is that it? Select a configuration. I mean, well, yeah. What other one am I going to select, Microsoft? <sighs> My options are that and that. And then I can decide if I want any Microsoft 365 with that. Uh... No, I don't want additional protection. This is it. I can get a wireless headset, um, an ugly mouse, or a different ugly mouse. Wow. Yeah, so that's the thing. Like, where's your where's your commit? And it's not like, okay, I mean, we just criticized Apple for releasing a literal $40,000 computer that they then pretend, start immediately start pretending doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Right? But this is regular for Microsoft. It's like it's like it's like Netflix, right? So you you kind of sit there and go, oh yeah, I love this paradigm where I have this like zero gravity hinge or whatever, and I can put my dial on my thing and I can do all this stuff. Will this continue to get any development? Like, what's going on with the Surface Duo? AJ's all. <laughs> I guess AJ uses the French Canadian keyboard layout. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> You employ this man? <laughs> AJ's great. He can he can have an exception. He he can have his he can have his bad his bad layout. Okay. What what's going on with this thing? Uh, Microsoft yeah. has just started casually low key not providing regular updates for it. Um, I saw an article that was, and I don't know how true the the speculation about the reassignment of the team is, but. Someone's saying it's updated each year. Apparently not the processor. Oh, yeah. no, It's it's not fair to just say, like, yeah, we ship with a more up-to-date operating system. Yeah, that's not an update. What else is updated? Yeah, 11th gen. 11th gen. uh, RTX 3060. Like, I don't know. Was it? Was it? Well, hold on a second. Did the original one have a 2060? I I think it has been updated because I did the video on the first one. Okay. So, like... It's been a minute, dude. It's been probably like seven years. <laughs> it must have received at least one update, but it is not currently up to date, I would say. Okay, well, maybe maybe I'm just being mean. But yeah, Surface Duo is another one that I'm just kind of looking at going, mm, yeah, really? I mean, if you search for Surface Studio, this is another thing too. Like, I guess even if they are updating this thing, does anyone care? So we've got this one result, and then it's just laptop. Oh, yeah. wait. No, no, no. We've got an all-in-one PC. Okay, is anyone buying this thing? 
again, like I said, oh, wow. No reviews yet. Be the first. Whoa. That's a yikes. That's a big yikes. Um... <laughs>